just fucking hate this world and these human worms feasting on its carcass. My whole life is just cold, bitter hatred. And I always wanted to die violently. This is the time of vengeance, and no life is worth saving. And I will put in the grave as many as I can. It's time for me to kill. And it's time for me to die. Violence in video games isn't anything new. In fact, we've covered a handful of these so-called controversial games in the past on this channel. But this game, this game is something else. A game that loathes in real life darkness, mass genocide, and overall disdain for humanity. This is McKill TV, and today we take a look at the controversy of Hatred. Hatred is an isometric shoot 'em up game developed and published by Destructive Creations that was released on June 1st of 2015 on Steam, available on PC. In this game, you play as an antagonist, a mass killer who is fed up with the world and carries out a one-way plan of mass genocide as he takes to the streets of New York and begins to shoot, kill, and murder any and everybody he sees, including innocent people, police officers, and even soldiers who try to stop him. The main character is a murderer who is on a suicide mission to kill as many as he can before he inevitably meets his demise. The game received an adult-only rating and was temporarily removed from Steam as it was deemed too violent and cruel before eventually being restored to the platform after an apology by Gabe Newell. The antagonist travels from neighborhood to neighborhood to police plaza. The man kills dozens of civilians and NYPD officers prompting a government response. After escaping the police by train, he devises a plan to carry out his mission of committing suicide and killing millions of people by blowing up a nuclear flower plant near the city. To accomplish this, he needs a C4 explosive, which he gets by storming Fort O'Connor military base, wiping out the entire base before heading to the power plant. So, as you can tell, this game was very controversial upon release. And in January of 2015, Hatred was given an adult-only AO rating by Entertainment Software Rating Board. The rating effectively prevents any mainstream retail distribution of the game in the United States or on video game consoles, as all three major console manufacturers forbid AO rating games on their platform, making it the third video game that received an AO rating for extreme violence rather than sexual content only behind Manhunt 2 and Thrill Kill. Hatred is also the only game to be rated AO and have no sexual content at all. One of its developers disputed the rating, stating that they were not quite convinced about the rating due to its association with sexually explicit games. Developers would later comment that it's still some kind of achievement to have the third game in history getting AO rating for violence and harsh language only even if this violence isn't really that bad and the harsh language isn't overused. But these statements are pretty controversial. Fucking worthless. In my opinion, the game was masked in controversy due to its gameplay, incorporating mass shooting, which is a very realistic, unfortunate thing that does happen in real life. And the AO rating also does fit the shoe of this game here. I don't necessarily have an issue with violence of this nature in video games, but I would agree with the adult only rating, as you really wouldn't want a game like this getting into the hands of children or unhinged individuals, as the gameplay is incredibly violent for such audiences. Gameplay here overall is just okay in a game that can become repetitive. The player can carry three weapons and an assortment of grenades, as well as drive some vehicles. Health in the game is regenerated by performing glory kills or executions on incapacitated people. The moves made to kill those victims involve cinematic switches of the camera's perspective. This will regenerate health for the character. If the player is killed, the level restarts entirely unless the player completed additional side quests that 
provide a limited number of respawn points. The character's voice acting is deliberately kept to a minimum, with his ideology and motivations largely left open to interpretation. Throughout the game, the main character will make short, edgy comments as he murders innocent people. The character is intentionally left nameless, but he is a decent sized man who has long black hair and wears a trench coat of all things. When we talk violence in video games and the elements that make a game violent, it really comes down to the realism of said violence. In the past, we've covered the Manhunt games, which were pretty violent and controversial for the time. But as the years pass, those games no longer seem as controversial as they once did, and are held in high regard as of today. I'm actually all for bloody and violent games, and typically like when games push the boundaries. And hatred does exactly that. And to this point, it probably sounds as if I were trying to add to the vilifying of this game. But actually I'm not. As my personal feelings are that games are not real life and shouldn't necessarily be compared to real life situations, no matter how realistic the subject. Video games are a way to release, a way to have fun. We as gamers do all kinds of shit in games that we wouldn't dare do in real life. And that's my overall view on hatred. Is it morbid and tasteless? Well, yes, to some degree. But at the end of the day, it's only a game. And I would agree that not everyone should play this game if it makes you feel icky. And I sure as hell wouldn't want kids to have access to such dark and violent games. But that doesn't mean that certain audiences shouldn't have access to a game of this type of subject matter and gameplay. It is a game meant for mature audiences, and I highly assume that developers didn't have children in mind as a target audience when developing a game like this. In the same way that I don't think games like Manhunt or Postal were made for any audience other than mature audiences. So in some ways I'd agree with the AO rating, but the game could have possibly been rated M for Mature as well, while possibly only being available as a PC port. As you could probably guess, Hatred released to mostly negative reviews, and obviously many were critical of the game's overall subject matter and violence. But many critics also criticized repetitive gameplay, noting the game's novelty quickly wore off due to the lack of variations or thrilling 5-star moments. Hatred is a game that does thrive off of its overall shock value and controversy. A game that actually wants to be controversial and morbid. It's kind of its shtick. But the game did get some praise for its artistic directions with its grimy black and white colorless filters it uses, as well as mechanics. I personally thought Hatred was a unique dark experience with interesting gameplay but I do agree that the game gets repetitive relatively quickly. Throughout the game, we'll play through eight levels that take you through different locations, such as home, the sewers, the marina, the train, the train station, downtown, the army base, and finally, the nuclear power plant. The game also offers a survival mode which pins the player against wave after wave of soldiers in which you must survive as long as possible in order for a higher score. The survival mode which also includes three levels or maps such as Metro Station Shelter, Federal Tax Department, and the Apocalyptic Harbor. Hatred is somewhat of a spiritual successor to 1997's Postal game, which was developed by Running With Scissors, which has a very similar gameplay and setting. I fucking hate politics more than that. I hate politicians and all the scum so easily fed by their lies. But what a lovely crowd of soon-to-be corpses. Overall, I wanted to cover Hatred because of its darkness, its gameplay and setting, 
a game that was so divisive amongst players and critics that it was hard to ignore the stir this game caused. And I wanted to cover this game as a way to discuss violence in video games and what it means to me. Games are only games, no matter how realistic they may seem. That being said, hatred isn't all that realistic outside its initial subject matter. In real life situation, this guy would have been mowed the fuck down as soon as he left his home with a gun in his hand. No way that he would ever have taken out an entire army base. And it's not that realistic when you think of it that way. There's just no way one individual would ever be capable of such mass genocide. And really, the game's not really gory overall, especially with its camera angles being so obscure and most of the blood and kills in the game are seen from far away. With the exception of executions that help you regain health. So I think the majority of the reactions to this game are based off the overall premise and idea of the game, more so than actual on-screen violence or gore. Because technically, you can go on a shooting spree in games such as Grand Theft Auto as well, but no one really is up in arms about that necessarily because that's not the overall gameplay in GTA. But this really isn't much different when you think about it that way. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video on hatred, hit that like button down below as it really helps out my channel. And if you're interested in more like this, make sure you subscribe to McKill TV as we cover more games like this. We try to put out two videos a month, as well as our video podcast where I answer questions from subscribers, as well as take suggestions for future games to cover. We also respond to messages and comments, so subscribe and come hang out. But until next time, this has been McKill TV, and we'll catch you in a future video. How do video. I overload the reactors? What? No, never! It will cause a massive explosion! Are you insane? That's what I want, and you will tell me, or I'll make you die very fucking ah! All right! All right! Please stop! I will do this! I will do this! No, I won't do that. I can't be responsible for this. Kill me again. Useless piece of shit. What is this fucking code? He's here! So, the time has come. <laughs>